All right, and welcome back once again to another episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's benchmark, 6.1, graphing the secant or cosecant functions. Uh, we need to graph two full, full periods and indicate um, any asymptotes and the period. Uh, to graph both the secant or the cosecant, remember it's the reciprocal of sine and cosine. So what we're actually going to do is graph uh, the sine in this case, as that's the reciprocal of cosecant. Uh, but then we're going to do, uh, we'll do this, Any anywhere where you have a zero on the x-axis for sine, uh, when I do the reciprocal of that, that makes it undefined. So I'll have an asymptote. So I'm going to graph the sine function. At any zeros, I'll put an asymptote and then uh, form my, my graph of the secant uh, or cosecant um, at the maximum and minimums. So let's go ahead and, and do this, uh, treat like this is a, a, a sine function to sine of x minus pi. Our amplitude is 2, so we're going to stretch up and down to 2. Period is 2 pi, there's no uh, uh, horizontal stretching or shrinking. We have a uh, shift, a horizontal shift, shift of pi units but no vertical shift. Okay, so we're going to graph the uh, graph the sine function. Now we normally start at zero, go up to one, uh, back to zero, down to negative one, and then up to uh, to two pi. Um, so one, two, three, four. This will be one period, and ooh, three pi here. Um, I'll go back. This will be a negative pi. Here, so I can get my two full periods. Uh, okay, now um, amplitude is up to two, pot down to negative two. So this will be two here, negative two there. And uh, I do need to do my shift pi units, which would be right there. So instead of starting at zero, zero, I'm going to start at zero, uh, I'm going to be pi is zero. And I'm going to go up to two. down to 0 at, at 2 pi, down to 2, and then 3 pi will be uh, back to 0. And uh, I'll go ahead and go backwards on this, down to 2, up to 0, up to 2, and down to pi. So there's my, uh, there's my sine function. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go and, and actually anywhere I see a zero, I am going to draw an asymptote. So here's an asymptote. Here's an asymptote. There's one there. We got the uh, y-axis is one, and then at negative pi here. All right, so I did the asymptotes at zero, and that's again because if I do the reciprocal of uh, 2 pi um, at pi over 2 the, the y value is 0 or, and uh, if I do the reciprocal of that I'll get undefined. So now I'm going to take um, my maximum and minimums and I'm going to make parabolas. So here's a minimum right here and I'm just going to make a parabola. It's not really a parabola but it's because uh, it's confined to this uh, these asymptotes here but here's another mac uh, maximum here. I'll drop there. Here's a minimum so come down like that, and here is the other maximum, and I like that. And the purple graph is my actual graph of the cosecant function. It's been shifted, and uh, and there we have it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.